Hey guys, I'm going to give you a tour of our new RV place, which we're going to be staying at for a while, and I was going to come up with like a clever little euphemism to describe it, but honestly, man, I'm just going to keep it real. This place is ghetto. Ghetto. And I'm going to show you why. So let me show you guys the space that we have. There's our sandpiper, right? And then it goes right here to a fence. And you know Marcus has that big super duty long bed truck. It took 20 minutes to get that thing in there. We didn't think we would make it. We had to have the our neighbors move their truck so we could like back in. And you come in to our section of the RV park right there. That's the only way in and out. We're kind of like in a cul-de-sac and it is tight. Like we almost didn't make it. And it was crazy because the people that work here were just like, yeah, here's your spot, go. They didn't even help us. But let me tell you about this area right here. This strip of dirt I call Shiz Alley because I kid you not, there is nothing but dog poop everywhere and nobody picks it up it is so disgusting so we got one neighbor in that super old rv and he's right here he's never hardly home and apparently that thing doesn't go in reverse i mean look at how old it is so i don't even know how he's going to get out of here because this is a tight turn And then our other neighbor is in that tiny, tiny little RV camper. It's a pop-up camper. And the walls aren't even walls. It's just canvas. So it is, we are so loud. I know we drive her crazy, but come on, Marky. I'll walk up here and show you guys the rest of the RV park. But um, she's like, She's like 70 years old and she has bright red dyed hair and she's like a spitfire, this lady. She's so nice, but um, oh, and she smokes weed. But a few people around here smoke weed and they're like, yeah, we got our medical card. It's funny, I don't ever really smell it, but um, the people here are really friendly for the most part. So this little walk, up this tiny slope is where the laundry and bathrooms are so that's that's a positive because you can see right from that laundry door our RV that's so really really close these things are super old and they just lint sitting there that's nice these are the oldest washers I've ever seen but they're like a little bit cheaper than everywhere else yeah come on Marky let's walk so that's the office and over there's more RV sides and then like a bunch of cabins and stuff back there and more another laundry room and we are right here next to the highway which is convenient and then the pool is down here which I've never seen the pool so it's gonna be my first time checking it out there's the pool oh, keep going. stairs that's great because Chloe will just like hang out on the stairs so it's just not a complete drop that's nice. They got lots of chairs. They they have even little kid chairs. Little kid, ch that's cute. Look, this is three inches. Three feet. Ah, what is that? A bee. There's bees everywhere here in California. Why are the bees in there? Yeah, come on, let's go get Coco because she's barking. And there's a gas station right there, right across the street. But we don't go there because gas is really expensive. Expensive right there. I don't know why it's like 20 cents more a gallon So we don't get gas there 
we're kind of up on a hill and then there's more RV sites at the bottom of the hill this is a nice shady area Coco hasn't been back here that little four pound dog's pulling you. All right, let's keep walking. This is the park that I was at first excited for the kids, but then if you see, that's all sand, and there are feral cats around here, and you know that that's just a giant litter box for them, so absolutely no way do the kids get to play at this park. But I mean, it's all wood too, so you probably get splinters. <laughs> so we don't take them to play there. There's a Burger King right across the street with one of those playground things and they just play in there. Right, do you like the Burger King park better or this park? Mmm, Burger King park better. That's but good. This park is really little. I like Burger King park. It is little and it's, it's dangerous. If you could describe this place in one word, what would it be? Closer to work. Closer? Someone says, hey, what do you think of this RV park? One word that comes to mind. Because I'm trying to think of what would actually encompass everything that's important enough. So I would say... reasonable that was pretty much the our new rv park and like i said it's just i don't know it's okay for the money we're paying uh it'll do but seriously if they wanted to charge us like a dollar more it's just it's not worth it i mean it's just this place is just dumpy and like for instance the sewer hookups are jacked up which I'll show you that in another um, vlog, how we've had to ghetto rig that so our sewer line won't connect. And when we told the owners about it, because it's a couple that owns this KOA, they were like, oh, well, why don't you just see well, how other people hook theirs up and do what they do? And we're like, dude, no. <laughs> don't you want your, your establishment to be like at a certain standard, I guess? I, I don't know. The, it just seems pretty slack around here um, but the people are really nice like I said our neighbors um, they're real nice friendly and the dog shit issue is just out of control I mean I've never in my life seen so much poop in one place and if they're not gonna enforce the people picking it up you know you would think the People working here, driving around in their golf carts all day would pick it up. It's just nasty. Like, it is so nasty, all the dog poop. And it's like the, also the, like the bathrooms and the laundry, like those laundry machines are so old and the bathrooms are so, it's, it's so old to the point where, you know, like when you clean something, it doesn't matter how good you clean it. It's just so old. It's gonna be old and rinkety and just look bad that's kind of the situations with the washers and the bathrooms can you tell I'm just not that thrilled about this place so we'll see how it goes though um, we don't really have many options this is pretty much it it gets us close to where we need to be and you know the price is is good so that's a plus it's just not it's just not what I was um, hoping for but like I said we'll see how it goes and make the best of it talk to y'all later